Right, hi guys, I'm just copying off today's worth of photos um, on my A1. Um, I've just been given some exclu exclusive, the word is I was trying to say, exclusive um, leakage of the A7R5. Um, one initial uh, observation is that the autofocus is as good or as fast as the A1. But now we have um, Animal Eye Autofocus is extremely good, but also you have auto swappage, so you don't need to push a button now to go from uh, animal to bird. It, it recognises the species straight away, automatically, which is good. Also been told that it will do 583 compressed roars before it hits the buffer. I've got my A1 here, so I'm, at the moment I'm shooting uh, RAW and JPEG, so we're just going to swap over uh, from that to just compressed RAWs. Most of the time I shoot compressed RAWs anyway. So we're going to go compressed and we're going to see... Um, which is it? It's just gone mad. It's like my phone, everything like that. So I'm going to do a buffer now live on camera. If I stop getting... Uh, what we're going to do, so we're going to go into high plus, um, doesn't really matter about the pictures, I'm in 1 hundredth of a second, ISO 4000 f4.5. Um, I've got, to format the card to be helpful Stu, because that way you can actually get enough on there, we'll still see. Uh, I'm just formatting, and then we'll go for it. So. Uh, 583 shots of compressed rolls, possibly unlimited JPEGs, which is probably about right, I imagine. Right, so we're at high plus, we are at compressed rolls. I'll show you. Well, it just says rolls, but if I go into the settings, we are in compressed rolls. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully. Um, Let's go for it and see. So I've got 1,279 shots available. And uh, manual focus so it doesn't inter inter thingy the, uh, interfere with the, uh, the shooting. I don't know with the A1, it will stop now. So it's trying to will it buffer up. That's what you're going to get to a point is you're going to slow, it's going to slow. It's not actually hitting the buffer, it's just slowing down. So you're not getting the 30 frames per second, but it's not stopping. <laughs> Every now and again. <laughs> So, okay, the A1 is actually mental. <laughs> it's still shooting four or five frames per second, probably, and every now and again it bursts back up to about ten. I don't know if you can see that. This is compressed roars. Well, I've had 1,200 and something shots on my card. I've now got 400 left, so the A1 is... We're down to 360, and it's still shooting. And we're down to 260. I think I'm going to empty this card. It hesitated for a second then. <laughs> I've never had a camera do this. And I'm about to fill the card up. There we go. And the crazy thing is, it's only got 100 shots left in the, in the buffer. So we can go again. But basically, I have just filled an 80 gig card 
with 1,279 shots. <laughs> Without it actually physically stopping. So I actually believe the A7R5 can do 583 shots in compressed raw. I think that's true. Um, that's mad. I didn't know what it could do then. So just to put it proof, the buffer on the, A on the A1 is already cleared. Like it cleared within a few seconds of me actually finishing it. So let's, just to put it in perspective, let's uh, format the card again. Because I've never done this on the A1. Obviously it's shooting with electronic uh, shatter anyway. And we'll see what it can do with, in uh, uncompressed raw and see what the difference is. Because if it still carries on doing that, that's nuts. Because I shoot compressed raw most of the time just because it's, you know, fine for general things. Occasionally. Right, we're going to go to compressed raw. I don't know if you can see this. That's it in uh, compressed raw at a minute. We're going to go to the top. There we go. And push the guy. Now we're in uh, uncompressed raws. So we're going for manual focus and need to format the card. Which I think I've just done. So now we only, instead of having 1200 and something shots, we've got 688. So will it clear that? Still moving. Still doing about five frames per second, roughly. Something like that. I think this thing will just keep going, to be fair. It gets erratic, so it's just going. So like 400 and so it's done 200 shots in. So basically this camera is, I've never done this and I never really shoot like this constantly. I'm not gonna keep blasting like this all day long. Um, and now I'll just quickly do a, I mean that's not gonna stop. That's basically just, it's gonna go, it's gonna do the whole card of 600 shots. I'm not even gonna bother. It's got that many shots on it in the buffer. I don't know if you can see that if it were video. Um, Focus that close, I've no idea. Um, that's clear the buffer already. So if I just shoot JPEGs quickly, and to see if that even cares at all. Goes to JPEGs. We're in JPEGs now. And I'm format the card, not that I need to. But I don't think this is even going to slow down. I don't think it's even going to remotely care with JPEGs. Um, absolutely monstrous. So if I actually really believe the A7R5 with a bigger megapixel image. So the image sizes are much bigger. And they're probably not going to give you what the A1 can do. Because A1 at the end of the day is still the flagship. So right, we are in JPEG mode. Extra fine. Yeah, the here the speed of it, it doesn't even care. It's slowed down a little bit, so it's filled the buffer, but it's not filling it at all. It's still, you get the slow, pip, you get slow popping up every now and again, but it's still doing five to 10 frames per second with ease. Of course, this is a fake noise anyway you're hearing, but that could shoot all day long. It's not even caring. And the buffer is now cleared again. Right, after two seconds, and then again, so I do really believe, with just testing the A1 a little bit, that that is probably true. I'm um, going by my sources. So you're having a little bit of a leak, a bit of information from someone who's actually using one of these cameras right now. So yeah, really cool. Um, two really useful things actually, because obviously better IAF for the birds and the animals and stuff like that, and better autofocus is one of the most important things with a modern camera. And also the buffer, because when I used to use the A7R4, for example, and the A7R3, um, even the RX10 Mark IV, which I'm recording on, if you did a big burst, um, and one of the whole reasons I bought the A1 is because when I'm shooting for YouTube and I'm out photographing, I've only got one camera with me generally, and I'll do a burst of, well, all as a bird, whatever, and you just go like that, and then you'd want to do some video. Well, with the A1, it's no trouble at all. It clears the buffer so fast, I can just push video. With the other cameras, like the A7R4, A7R3, A7R2 especially, that was quite quite a slow camera really in, in the buffer side, I could only do short bursts of the buffer and then it would give me a couple of seconds before I could push video. If I went silly, I just couldn't video for like a minute. You know, it was, it was so frustrating, but now with the A1 I can do that. So I think we're gonna see a very similar performance 
of the A1 buffer buffer speed and things like that in the A7R5. Anyway, um, hopefully I'll get some more info very, very soon. But obviously it's being used, tested and everything like that. And I'm getting a few leaks um, directly. So it's really nice to hear about this. So yeah, don't forget to click the subscribe button, little notification bell as well. I'm gonna do some more testing on this A1 now because there's a lot of things I haven't even done. I mean, I've never done a, a full buffer burst before. So yeah, actually silly. <laughs> um, I won't be upgrade. Oh, won't be buying an A7R5 unless I buy it as a second camera. Um, the A1 is absolutely wicked for what I need, and it does everything I do. But it's so interesting to see where the next jump of technology movements and everything is heading. Uh, I mean, Sony. We know Sony, Canon, Nikon, all that lot could just release the most mental camera ever um, if they wanted to. But obviously, they won't because you know they want slow. Slow progression, don't they, to obviously keep people buying cameras over, over a period of time. But um, the technology has got to a point now where it is just crazy. And it doesn't matter what you're using, Sony, Nikon, Canon, Fuji, Hasselblad, whoever, they are all incredible. So, yeah. Um, but this still blows my mind. The A1 is still mental. Uh, but really looking forward to um, each you having a go on one of these A7R5s. So, anyway, I shall see you soon. Um, leave your comments below. See what else you might think to want to hear about. I can possibly find out if you ask a couple of questions. Uh, yeah, cool. See you soon.